happy Topic Tuesday to you. For Topic Tuesday, we're going to talk about my Estee Lauder color products that I have. This kind of a review or a discussion on the Estee Lauder products that I have in my collection has been highly requested over the past few months. I have been promising it for a really long time now. So here it finally is. The other video that I will do will be kind of a discussion on the Estee Lauder foundations that I have and have tried. So that will be coming in, in a few weeks. But let's go ahead and get started. I want to start with, let's just start with the, the lip products that I have. I only have one lip liner and one lipstick from them. I do really like them both. The first is the lip liner in pink. And this is, I have this on my lips today. Spit it out, game. In case you saw my haul video on Sunday, and I'm wearing the same thing, but I've I did switch up my jewelry just because I did. <laughs> Why not? And that's what it looks like right there. This is a really nice liner. It stays forever. It's a little bit drying, but then I find most liners are drying, especially kind of long wear ones, but really nice, smooths on very nicely. It doesn't like skip over your lips or anything, which is, you know, an, an issue I have had with, with lip liners in the past. So I really like the formula and I definitely will repurchase some of the, or not repurchase, I will purchase more shades in the future. It does have this sort of lip brush thing on the back of it trying to not go this way so you don't have to look at the burn on my hand but um yeah so and, and that's I don't really use that but some people might find that useful maybe with a red one I would like that okay and then the lipstick is what I'm wearing on my lips today and you know these have been talked about to death on YouTube and this is the Pure Envy lipstick in um 20 no 220 powerful looks like that right there and it looks like that on my lips these are very nice I I don't think that, I don't think that they are like crazy, like like <laughs> the way that some people talk about them. And I think that that's just personal preference. I think they are very nice. And I would get probably a few more shades in them. I do like, I like how it feels. I like that, like this one in particular, you can kind of see, I've had it on because I filmed, uh, you know, the haul video and then this. It kind of dries down to a little bit of a matte, but it doesn't feel matte or drying on the lips. So the, the... The color lasts a long time, probably maybe three hours or so before I have to reapply. So I like it. It's a really nice shade. It's a really nice formula. It's just not earth shattering. That's all. Okay, blushes. I have three of their blushes and these are the pure color blushes. So the, the packaging looks like this on the blushes. Very pretty, gorgeous. And then the shade is on the back. These, are, my only complaint is could we make these open like these? This drives me crazy and how you have to get these open and get your little... I've broken a nail a couple of times. They're not hard once you figure out what you're doing, but it's just frustrating. There you go. There's my two cents on the packaging. This shade is an alluring rose. I have talked about this before. These blushes are really, really nice. I think they are probably my favorite thing from the line would be... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say they're my favorite thing from the line. And again, this one is in Alluring Rose. This was a suggestion from Prissy, I believe, in Prissy Loose Pink. So that's that's a heavy swatch of it. And then I'll blend it out just a little bit. Move my bracelet down a little bit. There you go. Just gorgeous. Perfect everyday shade. I really have I've shown that in a favorites before. Um, this one, I can't remember if I was just wearing this or if I showed this in a favorite. This is Alluring Ro No, this is um, Audacious Plum. Get it together, game. Really, really pretty. Perfect for this time of year. I'm going to do that one heavy and then I'll blend it out as well. So there's the heavy swatch of it. What I like about it is it just has that slight hint of the plum color without being obnoxious. And these wear really well. They wear for a long time and I don't find them to be, they don't apply patchy. I can use just about any brush to apply them without any issue. I don't use the brushes in them, but. And then the other one that I have is Pink Ingenue. Looks like that. You could wear this all year round. I prefer this more in the spring and summer. So heavy swatch right there. And then just blend that out a little bit. There you go. So I definitely think the... I, I, yeah, I think these are my favorite item from the line. Okay, the next thing that I have is, is their Pure Color Envy Quince. 
and I have three of them. I actually just recently, as a gift actually from David, received one that has some purples in it. I have not played with it. I haven't even had a chance due to the holiday craziness to, I looked at it and it's, it's gorgeous, but I have not played with it enough. So I'm not gonna talk about it here. I'll talk about it in the future just because I can't, I can't really report on it. The first one that I have is Untamed Teal. And I have swatched all of these in the past, but we're going to give you a little swatch again. So there are the shades right there. The only one I didn't swatch is the ivory. You know what I'll do is I will swatch it once here for you and then not in the other ones because that shade is in all of the, the quints. Which I don't have a complaint about because that's, for me, it's the perfect brow bone clean up sort of shade. I, I really like that. This one is... All of the shades in this qua or in this quint are very very nice. That untamed oh, and this is what this shade right here is what I'm wearing on my eyes today for the color. The rest is something I'll show you at the end. But I really I've been impressed with the dark color in all of these quints. Um, the, the darker colors have been my favorites, and and they're the matte ones. Usually the matte ones can be a little bit iffy in quads and quints from you know from any line. And I really, I really like How many times am I going to show you that? <laughs> I really, I do really like it. I just recently was wearing this one. This is an infamous sky. I was just recently wearing this in, I don't remember honestly what video. I love the navy blue in here. The only shade that I haven't worn is this one. And this is kind of a gray blue. I just don't know really how to wear that. That is one swipe of that navy blue I it just one of the things that like I said that is is a running theme through all of these is that the deeper dark colors are really nice blendable I just they're they're impressive the two shades kind of the the taupe and kind of the champagne toast these two right here are not super impressive when they swatch they they wear a little bit better on the eye than than on a swatch here but and again, it has that same brow bone cream color. The last one that I have is in Ivory Power. And this, believe it or not, was the most disappointing for me. First of all, I'm going to show you here, if I can. These, that's these two shades. They are very similar. There they are swatched next to each other. Really, really similar. This one right here is this here. And it does have a little bit of kind of iridescence to it. But there's nothing, there's just nothing spectacular about it. This is a, this right here is kind of a transition sort of shade. But I'm going to put it here next to these. So there it is there. And then the brown and kind of the, this one right here, you can see I almost had to scrape on that. So that, that sort of taupe, the shade you think I would love the most, not so much. But again, that's one swipe of the brown. So they definitely, I like these quints. I, this one is, like I said, my least favorite of all of them, or of the three that I have currently, or I have used currently. Untamed Teal and Infamous Sky, I, I like the shades in there, but again, the, the shining star in all of these are the dark colors, the dark brown, the dark teal, the navy blue, or, yeah, it was, it's a teal, the navy blue, definitely, definitely stars within those quads, and the brow bone highlight, the kind of the skinnier one in all of them, is, is really nicely pigmented, sometimes you will find that shade not to be too pigmented in quince and quads, and but it just works really well for all you know like I said for me anyway as a brow bone highlight to clean things up and, and that sort of thing so all right so that's probably enough about the quince let's talk about the eyeliners so I bought two originally and recently have bought two more and I just want to show you they changed the ends on these so they used to have this kind of smudgy sponge tip end and now the new ones have more of like a silicone and I'm showing you that maybe that matters to you I don't use them at all. So, I mean, it's nice to have in case you would need them, but I don't use them all at all. So these are the Double Wear Stay In Place Eyeliner. And the color that I purchased is in the colors that I have purchased. And I've used all but one. I haven't used the Sapphire. So bronze. So there's the bronze. And there is the forest. The ones that I the one that I have on my upper lash line today 
is Emerald Volt. And then the last one is in Sapphire. And this one I'm excited to play with. I just haven't played with it yet, so it looks like that. So there is Bronze. Make sure I'm doing the right. Bronze, Forest, Emerald Volt, and Sapphire. And I'll hold those up a little bit more so you can see. These are great. Love these. These are probably my second favorite of the thing. The blushes and then these. Ah, eh, it's a pretty. It's a really close cool second. They wear really well. They go. They glide on again, kind of like the lip liner glides on very well. They. You have some time to blend them out, and once you blend them out, they stay. They really stay. I like how they work. Work in my upper waterline. They don't transfer down as much. They. They kind of do that. You know where a lot of liners will transfer at first. And you wipe it away on your lower lash line with a cute or your lower waterline with a Q-tip, and then you're good to go. That's what these do. So um, I'm gonna wipe. I'm gonna try to wipe these off while I'm talking to her. I'm gonna be here. They're gonna be on my hand all day long. They just they they are so nice. They wear really well. I, I'm really impressed with them. I I know the question I'm gonna get asked is, do I like these better than the Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes? I do still prefer the Skinny Smolder Eyes. I think they are a little creamier. They you have a little more time to blend them out. And I think they stay on the waterline just a little bit better, but they're they're really close. So if you can't, if you don't have access to Tarte or you prefer Estee Lauder or whatever, they are these are really good liners. I am I am really pleased with them. So all right, I think that that is all of the color products that I have from Estee Lauder thus far. As I said, I do have one more quint that was that I recently received, and I will talk about that in the future. I just didn't think it was fair to talk about it when I hadn't used it at all. So, um. On my eyes today, as I said, I do have the Untamed Teal, that deep teal color from the Untamed Teal. I also have the Sephora Prisma Chrome in Outrageous Peach on my eyelids. On my cheeks today, I have Alluring Rose from Estee Lauder. And then for my lips, I have the this lip combo right here. And I think that is it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will be taking a break now until next week, Tuesday, just a little kind of holiday break. So I will see you a week from today for a top, another Topic Tuesday. I want to wish all of you guys a very Merry Christmas and I'll wish you a Happy New Year next week. But I just, if you celebrate Christmas, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate, I just wish you a great week. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.